welcome to the show. I'm Daria Roy. In this episode, we sit with tennis star Bianca Andrescu at the Toronto Eaton Center tree lighting ceremony. Let's take a look. so much for being with us today. We're here at the fourth annual tree lighting ceremony. Why was it important for you to be here and support this cause? I really wanted to be a part of this because I come to this mall so often. I grew up here, I grew up in the GTA, and I usually do my Christmas shopping here. So um, being able to light this tree up, I've been to it so many times. So having the opportunity is really cool. What's your favorite Christmas memory? I have so many. But honestly, the biggest thing for me is just being with my family and friends because I'm traveling so much. The last couple of years, I haven't really had the opportunity to actually spend Christmas at home. My wish would definitely be to be able to spend it at home this year. What are you most grateful for? Honestly, everything that's been happening in my life right now. I'm super proud with what I've accomplished for myself and just for Canada in general. Being here and celebrating with everyone is going to be really cool. Speaking of your accomplishments, you know, what does it take mentally and physically to get prepared for that? Definitely not easy, but I love the challenge. I love pushing myself. I love setting goals. Um, so for me, it's just if you're prepared, then you've basically won half the battle. So I tried to be as prepared as I could. And that's just by putting in the work, training mentally and physically. And what message do you want to give to young girls and athletes out there? If you really love something, you should definitely fight for it as much as you can. Even if you fail, get back up uh, because you have to be passionate in what you do. Um, I've struggled a lot through uh, injuries this past year, but the thing that dro drove me the most to continue is my passion for the game and it's definitely paid off. And our show is all about inspiration and inspiring the new generation. What's the best advice someone ever gave you? My mom. Um, dream big to get big because no dream is ever too small so if you really set your mind to something and work for it then you can accomplish anything and I think I've proved that even for my age just being 19 not only me but so many people have done that and I think if we can continue doing that we can inspire a lot of people.